guys, welcome back to the Unlimited Expedition. This week we're in Gregory National Park in the Northern Territory. Check it out. This week on the Unlimited Expedition, we're in the Gregory National Park, located in the central western district of the Northern Territory. At over 1.3 million hectares, Gregory's is the second largest park in the Northern Territory. We commence this expedition on the Victoria Highway, the eastern side of the park. We then proceed to the western section of the park where we begin our 200 km off-road trek across the park to Kalkarindji. From Kalkarindji we take the Buntine Highway into Western Australia and onto Halls Creek. And I can tell you, despite its name, it ain't no highway. Well, good morning guys. We're on the Victoria Highway heading west. The first stop's going to be Gregory's National Park, named after the famous explorer Augustus Gregory. The National Park's in two sections. The first section has the Victoria Gorge. We're going to stop and have a look at that. And then hopefully we're going to go down and do a few of the four-wheel drive tracks down in the western half of the National Park, which is a much larger area and very, very remote. Well, I reckon these top end folk must be a whole lot fitter than us. This track's about one and a half kilometres, but it's just straight up like this the whole way. this before guys but I gotta say it again I feel like I'm in Africa here we're about halfway along Humber track our plan is to transverse the entire park from north to south so Humber track takes us to about halfway and then we've got to jump onto another track, uh, Wickham track, take us another quarter of the way and then there's another track after that. So our ultimate mission is to get to the Bundine Highway and then take the Bundine Highway into Western Australia. This 
track is absolutely fantastic. I wasn't expecting this at all. I was really expecting there to be more of a road down through the middle of the park. But this has turned out to be a fantastic surprise. It's basically a goat track all the way. In places, we actually kind of lose the track. It's difficult to see. They put these little blue posts so you can navigate. But absolutely fantastic. Like the, t the different terrains that we go over changes every 15 minutes. One minute we're cruising along this sort of desert country. The next minute we're rock hopping over these little boulders down into creek gullies like fantastic I'm back on the road this morning um, a bit earlier than usual but the flies and the ants at that campsite there top Humber Creek campground um, just insane just couldn't deal with it it's not even seven o'clock and we've, uh, we've done about 5k so far. Really, really nice scenery and with the sun coming up, it's fantastic, so yeah. But a big drive today. We've got to do probably about 100k's of this track. Uh, actually a bit more, I think about 120k's before we get to the, the highway. So it's going to be a few hours. It's pretty slow going at the moment, we're in first gear. Just Potting along at about 15 k's an hour, so it'll be a long one. All right, guys. So we're about halfway along Wickham's track. We did a little bit of a scamper to the top of this hill here to have a look at the view. Have a look at that, will ya? The western section of Gregory National Park is extremely remote country. To undertake an expedition into these parts you should be very well prepared with a vehicle in A1 mechanical condition. The two days that we've spent out here we have not seen a soul. If you run into trouble, help will be many many hours away, maybe even days. If travelling solo like us it is highly advisable that you carry a satellite phone just in case the worst does happen. How spectacular is that guys? This Wickham track is a beauty. It is fantastic. I'm really, really happy with our Gregory National Park experience at this point. This is fantastic driving. A couple of things to note about the track though for those interested in coming out here. It is reasonably well going. I mean any regular four wheel drive can do it. I would I would suggest that you have good tyres because this is real tyre popping country. These little rocks. Most of the drive from Humber track down here to Wickham track has been high range four wheel drive. Um, second gear, a couple of places in third gear, so 20, 20, 30 kilometers an hour. But the number one caution I'll make is have decent tires because this stuff looks like it's very, very sharp. Of the two dozen or so creek and river crossings along this trek, only two actually contain flowing water. But this is the very end of the dry season. Coming here after the monsoonal rains, this track would be a completely different experience. We've just turned south onto Gibby Track. It's about 35 kilometres down to the Stanford um, cattle ranch. Then we've got about another 60 k's of hopefully um, pretty good gravel road down to 
the main highway. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's a herd of donkeys. Looks like a mama and a papa and a couple of kids. Three kids. Driving along this Gibby track, basically through the middle of the gorge, on one side you can see we've got this beautiful rock structure, the cliff face, and there's spin effects that makes a really interesting landscape all over it. On the other side of the gorge we've got no spin effects but a similar sort of rock formation but quite weathered at the top, and many, many donkeys, um, feral donkeys living in amongst the rocks. Of course, like most areas of Outback Australia, Gregory's National Park has a healthy population of feral horses. We're just passing through the Mount Stanford station now. The station home Stanford is just back there. We're heading down to Kalkaringi. Uh, we're going to fill up and have some lunch. Well guys, we camped here at a rest stop on the Bundine Highway. That's the uh, Bundine Highway just there. Haven't had a car pass us since we got here at 5 o'clock last night. It's now 6.30 in the morning. Last night we had the storm of the century. It just pounded us with rain. Lightning thunder. It was just remarkable out here. Absolutely remarkable. Anyway, the tent held up quite well. There's no leaks, we didn't get wet at all, but just the, the road, I'm a little bit concerned that that's going to be a bit boggy going out. It's a good road, but it could, uh, it could really turn to slush with that much rain. Anyway, it was a great experience nonetheless.